Okay, so now what we're going to do is do the demonstration with the Ultra Scrubber and the Ultrasonic Wave um, hand pieces, the flat head hand piece and the cone shaped head hand piece. So we're going to start by cleansing the skin first. I'm going to use the Gentle Milk Cleanser, which has a pH of a 6. You want to perform a very thorough cleansing to the face. You do not want to, if you're using Skin for Life products, you do not want to um, add water to the cleanser. In fact, I don't recommend it to any of the cleansers that are on the market just because they are formulated to actually bind with the skin to cause more emulsification and to interact with the skin by basically ungluing the dead skin cells so that you can manipulate the skin, get everything, debris, any type of residue off the skin from daily activities by letting the product do all the work and it, where it interacts with the skin for cleansing. With this particular cleanser, the Gentle Milk Cleanser, you can work around the eyes very closely. And once you have cleansed the skin, then you may remove. So we're going to take gauze. You can use sponges if you would like. And wrap the gauze around my fingers. And begin by removing, starting with the forehead, work your way down around the eyes, around the nose. And flipping your gauze so that you can remove with a clean side. Again, working the forehead, around the eyes, temple, working your way down to really miss no areas of the skin when you're cleansing. Once you've cleansed the skin, then you may use your toner as your second step to your cleansing. You may use it in a rainforest or directly on your gauze or sponges. And then I'm going to take gauze again, wet, use my mitten technique, where it goes around my finger, then my four fingers and grabbing it in the middle. And removing everything once again that we have a completely clean skin with no residue of makeup or any oils or any residue of any kind. Now this is a step that you can start with your exfoliation. So with the Ultra Scrubber we are going to use the Enzyme Papaya which is enzyme exfoliant with a papaya complex. This particular papaya is in a barrier that you add water to it. It doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be steam. It can mean that you use your fingertips with, um, you know, moist fingertips to really excite the papaya. This papaya is raw papaya, so it's as of itself, it's its own exfoliant. We're just activating it. When you use the papaya, you can use about, I would say, 10 mLs to 15 mLs. Taking your face mask brush, starting with the forehead, and applying it like a medium thickness.
This particular type of papaya you can put on all skin conditions and colors and types, which is very important that this become, uh, we made this product into a universal product. So whether you're working with sensitive skins or very thick and resistive skins, this is a perfect product to start with the proliferation of dead skin cells. Now as you apply this product, this product will automatically get very warm to the skin. It's just warmth. It interacts with the enzymes in the skin, creates that warm sensation, and then what I'm going to do is just wet my fingertips and begin a little bit of the massage. Before the ultra scrubber, the skin needs to be moist. It is important that you use the papaya with the ultra scrubber so that you get that double exfoliation, but you also get the moistness that the skin needs in order for the scrubber to interact with the dead skin cells as it goes through its cavitation pulse. you really work particular areas, if you see isolated areas of acne or around the eye area, cause more circulation, sun damaged areas, resistive, meaning open and closed comedones, maybe milia cysts that you really need to work the skin with the fingertips, or if you want to do a little bit of steam for about three to five minutes before using your ultra scrubber blade, you can do that. It's very beneficial to start building the interaction with the skin. So once we've done this, I'm just going to take my mask brush, dip it in water, and really make sure the skin is moist. And with the papaya again, it keeps the skin warm. So you get that softening effect with the papaya being the discrustation to the skin. Now we're going to take our Ultra Scrubber Blade and we're going to set the time to 10 minutes. And because she is a darker skin type, I'm going to keep it uh, the individual intensity or the intensity at one. And then she's not very sensitive. However, we don't want to cause any excessive amount of heat dermally that might make her melanocytes more active. So I'm going to keep it at 50%. And now I'm going to use the power button on the ultra scrubber to activate. And then I'm going to take a piece of gauze. Because H pass, I want to remove the product from the ultra scrubber in order to make sure that everything stays clean. With this particular portion of the treatment, you really want to make sure that you do not stop. You keep everything moving. There's no stopping on an area. You're moving in upward movements. You also want to make sure that you have the areas moist. So I'm just going to go back over the skin. And there's no pressure to the skin with the blade or from the blade. You 
keep it very consistent. Pick out your pattern that most is going to be most beneficial to the skin. Making sure that you do a thorough application. So as you're working with the blade, it's a continuous movement. There's no stopping. If you do stop on the skin, you're going to build up heat because of the cavitation. And that could be quite uncomfortable for your client. Once you do one side, we're going to do the other by working again, making sure the blade is kept clean and the skin is moist. You want to stop, make sure everything is kept moist. Isolate a certain area because of open comedones or more resistive areas. That all means you can go back over the skin. But once you've gone over an area, there's no need to keep going back over again and again, especially if the skin becomes a little bit drier because of lack of water on the skin. You can see how the exfoliation treatment can be very quick. The cavitation of this handpiece is very powerful as far as it's very performance driven to really cause the type of discrimination or disincrustation. Disincrustation of the skin's outer layer, which is your dead skin cells. And then we'll go back over around the mouth area. Whenever you go over an area, make sure the area is moist. Papaya is still active on her skin. I'm still going to go over that area, around the nose, are covered. If you want to go back over the jawline one more time, you can do that. We're going to make it to the jawline, so we're going to go over the jawline real quick. Make sure everything is good.
Again, constant movement. Do not let the blade rest on the skin. Perfect. And now we've completed the exfoliation. So that took me about six minutes to do this tiny little skin. That can be normal. If you're working on um, areas that are more resistive, you'll probably spend up, up to 10 to 12 minutes going over the area just to make sure that you are working on more of the resistive areas. So when you are transitioned to the extraction portion of your facial, everything will extract without being um, you know, uncomfortable for your client. Now this is when you can use a warm towel to remove any more, uh, any of the papaya that was used, any of the residue from the ultra scrubber. I'm going to use gauze because the papaya comes off very well with just gauze. But you do need to be thorough. So if you wanted to add the warm towel, that's perfectly fine. Now we're going to make sure everything is off the skin. There's no residue of the papaya. The skin is clean. When you're working with pigmentation, variations of pigmentation, this is a beautiful treatment no matter what skin color you're working with because it really does help to lift the superficial portion of the pigmentation so you get a really pretty bright skin. We're going to use the Instant Soothing Toner which has a pH of a 5.5 just to make sure everything is removed. And this is considered your cool down step. So your exfoliation was your peak and now we're going to use the cool down just to make put the skin into a nice comfortable spot before moving into our ultrasonic wave. I'm going to remove again around the eyes. Now if I want to perform the oxygen infusion before moving into the ultrasonic waves, I can do that. If I want to use microdermabrasion as my, as my exfoliation, I could do that. My derma planing with a number 10 blade can perform that diamond tip and remember you can also break up when you're using your ultrasonic wave hand pieces for example if I want to do microdermabrasion and then work my way into um, all my serums and my moisturizers for the skin and then perform my microcurrent after microcurrent, I can use my ultrasonic, um, ultrasonic wave hand pieces to cause more density, more layering, fullness of the uh, epidermal layers of the skin. Uh, you can definitely put it where it's going to be most beneficial for the skin as far as more of a performance treatment technique. So now what I'm going to do is uh, use my serums. So I'm going to use vitamin C which has the vitamin C of magnesium ascorbical phosphate. I'm going to make a little cocktail with the moisture booster, which has the magnesium ascorbical phosphate as well as bearberry extract for brighteners, but also hyaluronic acid for more volume. And when you're working with a more mature skin, you want to cause more volume. Now she 
has a darker skin, so I want to make sure that I can use the brightening agents of the Bearberry extract and the Moisture Booster as well as the Vitamin C so that it causes more of a layering technique to really heighten the response to interact with those pigment cells that are tarnished or that has tarnished the dead skin cells. Also remember your serums and your moisturizers of Skin for Life can be a part of your eye care. So it's really important that you do not forget the eye area. I'm going to use the Ultra Performing Complex with A and C for extra antioxidants for her, as well as the Vital Recovery. I'm going to use a little bit of a cocktail. You can start with your massage movements. This is a good time to really bring out your most lifting and firming massage movements for the skin. on the neck area, even though we're just going to do the face. Lift. Really work on the submental area. Work on the masseter. Really lift the cheeks, again using your own vibration techniques. Smoothing out the lymphatic portion, just that little bit of squeeze and movement to the temple area. Very firm effleurage to the forehead, lifting the brows, really focusing in between the eyebrows. Some people refer to as number 11 lines, lifting the brow with your rolls the fingertips, finishing with effleurage, lifting, smoothing, and really interacting with the skin. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start with our conductivity gel. Our conductivity gel is going to give you a layer over everything that you provided the skin as far as nutrition. And we're going to start with the flat head hand piece. And you want to apply a medium thick layer. I'm going to do one side at a time, okay? Go around the eyes with the conductivity gel, around the mouth, and you need to make sure that the skin is also moist. So once you've applied your conductivity gel, you want to wet your gauze or your facial brush and go over the gel to make sure everything is moist. 
because water is the solution when you're working with either electrical current or sonic waves. It loves water. That's how you're going to um, have a really performance driven treatment and to get really good results. So once you've applied your conductivity gel, we're going to start with the one megahertz. Now with her skin, we're going to start with constant and we're going to set the timer for 10 minutes to do the entire face. Now you might go over that where you might want to just use the default button at 20 minutes and just watch your time or if you want to actually set your time for 10 minutes so you'll know exactly how long you've spent on the face, that's fine too. I'm going to uh, put my mode on constant and I'm going to make sure that I select the one megahertz and then I'm going to hit my start button to make sure that the machine is working and you'll see the blinking light next to the time that will indicate that it is working. And then I will increase my individual intensity to the first orange arrow. And why I'm doing this is because I'm working with a young skin I just want to cause more volume to her skin. I want to work on the pigmentation. I, um, you know, before, as you saw me apply the vitamin C and the moisture booster, they both have skin brighteners in, in, the, uh, in the serums, as well as the, um, the vital recovery and the ultra performing or antioxidant derivatives, so, or driving components to the skin. So I want to work on the pigmentation of her skin and with this, using the conductivity gel, this is going to be a great conduction. So when I start with the flat head hand piece, I'm working in upward movements. And again, my intensity, my mode is on constant, and my intensity is the first bar of orange. And each stroke that you perform on the skin, you need to do that application three times. So it's lifting, and lifting, and then transitioning by overlapping at least a good 30%. So lift, Whatever you perform on one side of the face, you're going to perform on the other side of the face. Keep your movements consistent. And make sure you keep the handpiece moving at all times. You do not want to stop and rest on a particular area of the face. That can be very uncomfortable to your client because remember that ultrasonic waves can also build up with heat. So you want to make sure that the handpiece is moving at all times. And you're lifting. Really causing more volume to the epidermal layers of the skin. And all of these movements, as far as your directional movements, are in our manual. So if you have the Ultra Scrubber or you're thinking about purchasing the Ultra Scrubber, you will have a detailed manual and then this video will be a good reference to how we want you to perform your movements. You may have to stop in between just to make sure that the skin is moist. You need to make sure the skin is moist. It has enough moisture on it so that the waves of the ultrasonic wave handpiece can be very beneficial to the layers of the epidermis.
three passes and take your time. You do not have to be so quick with your movements. You want to just be very methodical with your movements, lifting. Your strokes are very methodical. Think about the client's structure of their face where you need to focus and do more lifting techniques, whether it might be the jawline, it might be the cheek, it might be the nasal labial fold. And lifting, lifting, lifting. making every movement count. This is a nice way to really work on all types of condition of skin, whether it be rosacea, psoriasis, as long as there's no open lesions, oily and acne condition, mature skin, sun damaged skin, different variations of pigmentation that you might want to treat and try to influence. Okay. So transitioning to the cone, you want to make sure that the areas like around the lip and around the eyes are very moist. So reapply your water, whether you're using your gauze or your facial mask brush. We're going to start with the eyes, and again, you're manipulating in circular movements, and you can glide to help with the lymphatic portion of that area. You do not want to work too close to the underneath the eye. It's just the infraorbital bone that we're focusing on, as well as the supraorbital bone. using the three pass technique and then you really want to concentrate on the lines that you need to work on. Work each line three times so you can really achieve extra fullness in that area. Brow, lifting up, 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 because this is not only causing volume to the skin, but it's causing a lifting, a more of an anchoring type of matrix to the skin. This has nothing to do with muscle, but the layering of the epidermal layers of the skin becomes more full, more anchored, so that it really gives you a pretty look, youthful look to the skin. Using your three pass techniques, I'm going to move down to the lip. Again, make sure that when you're working the line, you work each and every line. Work your nasal labial folds. Someone has very deep nasal labial folds, the little marionette lines. Work those areas in passes of three. When you've completed your application of the cone 
hand piece of the two megahertz hand piece then you may remove everything with a warm towel not a hot towel it needs to be tepid lukewarm because again you don't want to cause any type of acceleration the the hand pieces were your peak and now we're getting ready for the application of the cool down so you can see from one side of the face how much more clarity the skin has with being a lot brighter and lighter and more full to the skin. I know she's young, but she, we want to build up her cheeks to keep her cheeks very full, very lifted, and work on the variations of pigment as she transitions from summer to winter. So now we're going to remove, and you may remove with a warm towel, not a hot towel, and I'm going to remove with gauze. You have to remove very thoroughly to make sure everything is removed and there's no residue. Conductivity gel comes off very well. There's no sticky feeling to the skin. It's very smooth to remove. What you also can perform next with uh, Skin for Life is our LED light system. Once you remove the conductivity gel and we're going to tone the skin, then you can perform an additional 12 to 15 minutes with your LED light. This will only improve the adenosine triphosphate within the cell mitochondria, really energize the cells be, uh, being able to divide going through their mitosis. Only increases the wound healing stages of the skin. And then what we're going to do is use our toner. And remove one more time just to make sure that everything is that a cool down for the skin? And then if you would like, after the LED light, you can use our Skin for Life Vitamin C Algae Mask, which is our two-part cold therapy mask system. And we do have at the Skin for Life video library the application of that particular mask if you want to take a look. But for right now, I'm going to finish with our serums, our moisturizers, and then our sunscreen, the Soul Defense. But this treatment can be as simple as the treatment that we perform today. But remember, you can also interject certain of uh, portions of this treatment, whether it's the Ultra Scrubber being your exfoliation before your professional peel, um, Skin for Life professional peel system, or and then you can go into your um, microcurrent and then do your ultrasonic waves and then finish with LED light. You can be very uh, performance driven when it comes to um, treating mature skin or you can be very simplified when it uh, comes to treating more acne and oily skin types. And you can see how much brighter and lighter her skin looks. It is a perfect treatment for the variations of pigmentation, whether it's just hyperpigmentation, solar lentigines, or if you're working with melasma or cloasma. 
It's the perfect treatment for really driving in your products with the ultrasonic wave hand pieces to really cause more of a high potential of a nutritional benefit for that cell membrane to interact with. The gap junctions of the skin of the stratum corneum is very vital to us. So with using performance products that are in a lipid arm system and nanosphere type of technology, it's very important that we spend time driving in the product and have a higher potential of interacting with the cell membrane and interacting with our natural enzymes in the skin as well. So we're going to apply the Vital Recovery as her recovery cream, reparative cream, her balancing cream, working around the eyes as part of her eye care, very good with microcirculation. So it keeps the activity of the skin going. And then we're going to use the Soul Defense, which is our signature sunscreen, our physical sunscreen. Again, very important that we reduce any type of sun sensitivity when she leaves and goes out into the world. The whole idea of Skin for Life is to create a performance result without creating skin stress. There's no need to have skin stress. There's no need to have stress, period. Short bursts of stress, the, the immunity of the skin actually enjoys, but long-term stress only results in aggravating and increasing your aging potential. So we don't want that, do we? We want no stress. So our little telomeres don't get stressed. And our, long, our longer Han cells, our skin immunity cells, do not get stress. Removing the inflammation but of course getting performance skin results. This is the Ultra Scrubber and the Ultrasonic Wave Machine using the Ultra Scrubber to exfoliate and incorporating your regular facial treatment with the Ultrasonic Wave hand pieces to, re to really cause volume and integrity, clarity of the skin and really trying to eliminate dead skin cells over accumulation of dead skin cells and increasing more volume and fullness to the skin's integrity. Thank you for choosing Skin for Life.